It's summertime in Buffalo, it's hot out, and we are in a drought. We've gotten less than half an inch of rain in the last month. I got my sprinkler and my hose game in check, but this old plastic hose reel here on the side of the house has seen better days. Oh, come on! Here for this corner of my house, I'm looking for a durable hose reel that can withstand the elements, hold hundreds of feet of hose, and doesn't take forever to wind up like this guy. Is the Giraffe Tools industrial hose reel cart the best one on the market? Let's find out. Hey guys and gals, welcome to Garage Gear, I'm JB, giving you the best tips and tricks to survive life in and out of the garage. And remember, if you're feeling the vibe and you want to be part of the tribe, subscribe. This is the Giraffe Tools Industrial Garden Hose Reel Cart. And you know what time it is? It's time to unbox that item! While I'm unboxing this hose reel, I'm going to take a brief moment here to go over all of its features. It has four 10-inch nice rubber tires. They're foam solid, so there's no need to inflate them. Good, because I don't feel like hauling them in and out to pump them up. There's a sliding hose guide system. This helps wrap the hose around the reel evenly. It stores up to 250 feet of 5 8 inch hose, which is perfect because I got a lot to cover here on the side lot. This unit is for residential and commercial use. The weather-resistant coated finish and brass fittings ensure durability for many seasons outdoors. It has a basket up top to store all your hose end attachments, and included is a five foot leader hose. This whole unit even comes with a two year warranty. Let's piece this baby together. After sliding the axles through, pop on the wheels and lock them down with a washer and a pin on each. Next, take your plastic mount, insert the guide rods, and screw them down. Slip on your wind up belt. Slide your rods through the hose guide, insert the guide end into the mount, screw the mount onto the end of the guide rods. Next, snap them into place on the side of the cart. You may have to tap them up or down to level it. Next on the reel, take your bearing and insert it into the mount, then slide it onto your crank handle. Insert your crank handle and bolt it down. Take your reel, slip on your belt, then set the reel into place with its mounts and bolt it down. Make sure that your belt is snug and tap down on the plastic mounts if necessary to make it tighter. Screw those into place, snap on your upper handlebar, and screw on your basket. Last thing I'm gonna do, I find that these hoses always seem to leak if I leave them as is. So what I'm gonna do is wrap them with some plumber's tape. Now that I got this reel all fully assembled, would you mind taking a super quick second to hit that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm? Thanks. All right, let's go hook this bad boy up. We're gonna move her into position here. That'll do. Connect our hose. So I wanted to bring you in here to show you something. This little connecting piece right here links up to our hose. And take a look at this. All the years that I've been using this, this little plastic shroud forces the hose to kind of kink here and restricts the flow. So as I wind this up, it always has that kink there, restricting my flow to my sprinklers and just slowing the water down. That's one of the big reasons why I just don't like these things. Take a look at how this one connects. Because this unit is just so big, it prevents that. From here, I'm gonna take my hose, slip it through our guide hole, bring it all the way around town, and then here, twist it on. I'm gonna wrench this baby down, make sure it's nice and snug. And now we're just gonna wind her up. Look at that. I can do this one-handed. I like how it wraps it. Done deal. It was super easy to reel that hose in with just one hand. The old hose reel is quite the chore because I have to hold it down with my foot and then my other hand and then crank and then realign the hose. It's a real pain in the butt. And when I go to pull the hose out, it doesn't even wobble. That comes out super nice, effortlessly. Look at that. Water pressure's really good through the unit too. I've always disliked this a little bit because of that little bend in the hose and it really created a lag at the sprinkler. Now that thing's sending it quite a few feet further. More water going down, baby! I was thinking about putting a retractable unit over here, but I couldn't find one with a long enough hose. That's where this reel can really reign supreme because it can hold up to 250 feet of hose. That's twice the amount on a 
retractable unit. I did a video on the 130 foot retractable hose by Giraffe Tools a while back, and I'll have that video linked down below in the description. There is no doubt that this thing is durable. It can hold a lot of hose and it doesn't take forever to wind it up. Having the right tool for the job matters. Don't forget to give me one of these and be sure to check out more cool garage gear videos right here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the garage. Come on.